Do you like my do you like my Barbie? I got this Barbie. She's got a green dress on. It's lime green. It's like, look at that little gold ribbon there. She's wonderful, don't you think? I'll just set her right here while we talk about this. And this is your this is your card that you brought in. We we love it. And so what we're what we what we the thing about the, the thing about the card is that it's wonderful and we're glad to have you as, as an employee mark that's right come on in sit down and, and just sit down and we're just gonna have a little talk about your card we love having you here and the thing about your card is there's a few things we got to go over you know we have to change because there's certain things that you, you're not aware of yet and I'm here as our director to help you understand the greeting card business when I have to go work for a living, you know? Do you just think it's all fun and games here in the bunker system? Well, <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, gotta, gotta do something to make a living. Actually do a lot of work here, I still do. See, the thing of it is, is uh, years ago, uh, at the birth of the internet, after the first WYSIWYG page layout, uh, web page layout program came out, which was PageMill, Adobe product, okay? Well, I learned how to use that because I wanted to get my artwork out of the bunker, basically. Well, the bunker system didn't exist, but out of wherever it was and, you know, find a, mar a market <laughs> for it or an audience. Still working on that, but that was the point. So I learned how to use that. And, you know, you had modem. I mean, you, you, know, you, were, you uploaded everything on a modem. There was no high-speed access or anything like that. Back in the, the ancient you know, old days, back in the days in the 90s, right? And so because I did that, though, um, and that was before the Internet boom. Oh, and by the way, uh, this program called Future Splash came out, okay? Which allowed people to do look, these little animations, which you could stick on your website. Well, guess what Future Splash turned out to be? Well, Macromedia bought it. It became Flash, okay? Why didn't buy stock in Macromedia or Apple, any of those companies? I have no idea. And the first thing in greeting cards is that Merry Christmas assholes that I have to pee. You don't need to worry about That's called editorial. Do you understand? We have a whole other division that works on the, the, the greeting card greeting, okay? You're the magic man, visual magic man. You need to be concerned with the visual magic and not the greeting, okay? So just but going back to the story, because I learned all this stuff on my own so I could get my artwork, into a different format, you know, for people to look at. Um, and then before the internet boom, that suddenly I, you know, realized that I had skills that people wanted, and uh, so I made a living doing that stuff for a while until the market crashed. All right, the internet market, mar the internet bubble burst. I'd rather paint, frankly. So you wonder how I support myself. Well, in some respects, that's what I do when I'm not doing other things. I'm still working on some websites, okay? Keeping some people happy doing that. But uh, when I was working my first job, the very first job I got out of college was, yeah, I think this is the only thing I've never mentioned. So it's like, if I have one secret, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell it because that's gonna be it, you know? There's probably other things out there that people think are secrets that I may not even remember. <laughs> <laughs> that you've come up with. Um, but I worked for a greeting card company for a year and a half. It's gone now. Gibson. Just don't do that anymore. All right. Now, the other thing is your Christmas trees, it's, it's black. It's black and Christmas is red and green. Christmas, it's just red and green. It's always been red and green. And it's still red and green. So we don't do black on Christmas, okay? Which, which, which that, I, so I don't understand Fantasia. You know, working in hell. It was like working in hell without the fire. <laughs> but I used to sit, and I don't even know why they hired me. I had, not, had, had no talents for that job, but they saw something in me at the beginning, which they didn't see at the end <laughs> when I got fired from the job. But I used to sit in there and I would watch, the whole point of this story, I would, I would watch the guys mowing the lawn on the outside of the building and think, I want to be mowing lawns. But the, the other, also in the process is, 
and, and I could never resolve the issue until maybe just you know within the last three years. Is is that like a job? Is always the same thing, and you have to put everything you got into it, and it's maybe there's a perfect job where that's okay, and, and but when you're doing art, it's sitting. You're sitting and you're sitting and you're sitting, drawing or painting or working on the computer. You know, if you're doing web stuff. And you don't get any physical activity. Well, I've always been a physical person that liked to do things. And I like to do things with my hands and fix things and exercise and be outside and do things. But you, when you have to spend all this time doing artwork, you can't. Okay? It's, especially if you're running a business or working in a design job. I mean, you're just like chain, brother, you know, 60, 70 hours a week to your desk. You, cl you clip Fantasia out of this out of the CD that you have is going to cause some legal issues so you know the business side will have to get involved and there'll be lawyers and so if you could just take Fantasia off because remember Christmas is what that's right red and green that's right and speaking of red we love the red but this appears to be blood like the Christmas tree is spitting up blood and it's all over the floor underneath the Christmas oh I'm sorry Barbie here there you go sweetheart okay just oh my God! It's just blood. We don't we don't we don't have blood on Christmas. I know it's red, but we don't have blood. And trees have pointy teeth and eyeballs. It's just it. This is we told you this is a realistic Christmas tree. We told you three days ago realistic Christmas tree. Paint us a realistic Christmas tree. Now what we do love, we do love are the rhinestones. But the problem with your rhinestone idea is we do not have a five collar press with the fifth collar being rhinestones that will not print rhinestones so you know you never the only people you see my age are people that manage somehow to be smart enough and bright enough and successful enough to start a business which now they're just a figurehead for and other people do all the work and, and manage to keep it running because there's no way there's no way I know I know there's people out there at home doing it sort of like me and maybe more you know spending more time on it but it, it's, um, it's you never hardly ever see anybody you know, over 40, <laughs> working in the design field, man, because you don't have enough energy for it. Frankly, it's all based on energy. And most of what's done is all like young, youthful trend. It's like trend thinking, you know, there's this, this whole cultural level of trend that you have to be aware of and regurgitate and understand and, and, and keep up with. And you can't do that as you get older. It's just impossible. It's very difficult. Okay. So, but the main thing is, is that I, 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 I wanted to do phys, phys, something physical as well as the art thing. So I do that now. I do the art thing and then I, I, I work putting together um, exhibits. And what that entails is basically unloading semi-trucks. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. And then you take apart these giant crates or whatever, however the show comes in. And it's like a big puzzle that's, that's usually screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> and you put it all together and it, it, you, you work 10 to 12 hours a day, six days or seven days a week, depending on where the show comes from, who manages it, and how they set it up. Uh, it's about 50-50. Sometimes it comes in, everything's in order, packed just right, it comes apart, there's directions, there are people there that know the show and everybody's careful and it goes together pretty well. And there's always you know, a few moments when you're like, what the hell is going on here? But you take care of it. Uh, but so, sh some shows come in and the truck's just packed, everything's broken, it's worn out. You know, it's been all over the place, it's worn out. Things need to be repaired. And there's no time, like management, as, as management does, you know, underestimates everything. Well, they know exactly what they're doing, so it's not an underestimation, it's the correct estimation in their heads. <laughs> You've only been here several weeks now, two, three weeks. I don't know how long it's been. I saw you down at the coffee shop. I kind of liked you, but now I don't know. Anyway, we don't have rhinestones. We don't do, you can't, it's not a three-dimensional. We have to send that overseas and have the little people overseas apply the rhinestones. It's very expensive, and this card is not going to be an expensive card. There's a certain budget that's been set, and we'd like for you to stick to it. Oh, oh my god, I love these ruffles. Oh my god, that hair is so marvelous. There you go. So take this back and, 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 and just re rework it. Do something. Not a black tree. Nope.